his health. No, no he, he well. Okay. Well, Tense uh, uh, Zonia is, is now off cooldown. And Jive is looking to try and split push this one. one. You can see Tense looking pretty demure on your screen right now. Ixu turns up. I've seen this one before, as uh, Ixu is a really great reaction to that. Uh, he's going to get Cataclysm flashes immediately. This oh, Lucian! Now, now, if Pop Life is, is going to actually still, still find some, some miracle, miracle way to win this game, game it, it will be via a CLG if they can somehow backdoor via top lane and deny the backs of the other APK members. Now, it won't happen right now, but they've created a potential opening for it. The problem, however, is that because the base levels on the side of APK are so much higher across the board, their minions are a lot stronger. And yeah. so, so it's, it's almost, almost like top lane is always going to be pushing into Han Wall Life, and so it's going to be a little difficult to create a herd that can eventually threaten the inhibitor. And so since we were talking about 100 to 100 on uh, the Braum, he's picked up a Glacial Shroud and a Cloth Armor, and he's gone up an extra 80 armor, I think, now that uh, Mount Soul has been collected. That is uh, a very scary... The Guardian Angel, beautiful item by Akron, gets armor as well. Yep. So, we get a quarter of 40, and it's a nice value. They are very, everyone's just too tanky. This game is so far gone. I, I, I don't even know what to... I, I have no idea. Well, we'll see whether I'm alive to get themselves a miracle team fight. They're going to have to find everything optimally if they're going to get themselves back into this one. You may getting split it on there in the mid lane. And Zixu not, not too afraid of anything. anything. Four items now completed. Don't quite find the bubbles. And now the base is going to be broken. You may though, dodging out of the way. Flawless. He has to walk down that red top and he definitely doesn't want to. You guarantee that the mountain drake just kept him alive right there. It's Haru not going to be so lucky. The hook is going to go wide there from the hands. In any other game, I think, I think that Flawless should've, should've just been, been dead, dead, right? But... but... Warm up! Just warm up? Oh, oh man! Yeah, Alright, he's, he's back, he's back up. up. He's back full up. Whatever you mind. This up? Oh god, taking so much damage right. there. The Chopper Rod is gonna go wide. Need an inhibitor, will go down as a result of this one. I didn't even notice. The Morello. Yeah, yeah, he's got the double. The double. Yeah, 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 I get that. Yeah. Alright. Now he's cheating. Uh, Tim. Gonna have to take the land to get the safety. Bottom inhibitor will fall as a result. Bubble's going to miss onto this. Uh, land is to try and find space to get himself a, a hook or something. But odd use of that summon as well. 5,000 gold to leave in the ADK. Yeah, alright. Realistically, at this point, I'm not like, I mean, we're in their vision right now. That was an equalizer. Flexing one, but there's the flash hook. I think Mia is probably going to be the sacrificial land here. It's flawless. Not a lot of mana to work with. Dead, but consider what they just accepted. A flash out of the hands. Doesn't matter. Just another summoner spell, they're going to be down in the game deciding team fight. And they just broke the base, right? Like, yes. Yeah. There wasn't a lot for them to go for. The Baron had worn off. They're still going to wait a couple of minutes. Like, not a big deal. So, just a bit of a greedy recall there by Flawless and Mia, obviously Mia, not able to make it, he ends up being caught, just like a horror movie, the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Someone probably tripped wrong. Give him up. Just one thing, just one thing. I don't know what he just said, but I assume he was being very aggressive. Haru can't get towards the smite opportunity on the risk of that will mean... Semi-permanent vision on this Baron as it's going to be spawning. <laughs> he said sacred sacrifice. Sacred. The sacred sacrifice of Mia to our overlords. That's perfect. Right. I think that's a, that's a Team Rocket team. Oh! Oh! Cataclysm has been straight up the wall and Tempest is going to flash. Now won't have that available anymore. It's just going to walk past Dixon. Oh, Dixon, man. Oh, this one is pretty quick. quick. Yeah, Dixon's not up there for Dixon. Can't quite make up his mind as to whether to find this on others. Dixon comes in from the side. 
looks to me, and he's going to flash the bullet time, does absolutely nothing. The Mountain Drake came into play again. Oh, absolutely it is. Redemption's going to come down as Haru. Oh! Doesn't quite pull out, but Cube is going to hybrid. Desperately looking for Haru. Not going to be able to find it there. It's now Temp, Fister in the hand. It's actually going to be the bad pieces of Haru. Going to get back to the base. Yeah? Which is... Very surprising, Very surprising that that happened. Now, Mia, yeah. not, not the one with the Warmog. So, so it's going to be relatively low on EP. This is going to be triple inhibitor, I believe, going down. And that will enable the seven versus high. Oh, no. I don't know how to do it. He's going to manage to repel them. They're going to go straight to the Baron. They know that they can cash them in any sort of fight because there are double super minions moving up both bottom lane and mid lane. They should, they should be able to avoid this Baron very, very quickly. Somehow, Somehow Hybrid went from the Flame Horizon to uh, six, six items and a 700 gold bounty. Certainly impressive. impressive. As uh, the second, second Baron might be enough, might be enough to get, get themselves, themselves an Elder Drake and win the game. And so, so right, right now, this uh, obviously right here, Miss Fortune, she's pretty, pretty quick. quick. She's the captain on the ship right here. As bullet time came out really late, but obviously anticipating the Brom trying to block it all. Cube getting docked down by the Ezreal. Not quite able to just watch hybrid. Arcane ships over. I thought that he caught the tail end of release. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. But then didn't elect to actually chase her. Very surprising. 10 seconds still the Elder. So, if, if there's, there's a universe, universe where Hanwha Life magically wins here, is if that wave in top lane can hurt, which I don't think that it can, and what I mean by that is stockpile of two, three, four minion waves, yep. start pushing into the inhibitor. And if somehow Hanwha Life can win the team fight at Elder, or get Elder, win the team fight, and then run through the minion wave with the death timer being as long as it. It's possible, unlikely, but definitely possible. And, uh, the Elder has been started. I'm alive to know exactly what is going on here. As uh, Cover jumps on over, they're trying to soften up the members of Palm Alive. In the meantime, still taking this down. Maybe the great ultimate true shot barrage. Almost tagged on the Haru, but he's going to survive for the minute. And then he realizes the Elder Drake has been taking cover. Right in amongst this one. And now Temp in the back line will go golden Hitsu. Oh, you little hot out of Kibay. I'm playing there just a little bit. As yet. The dragons come down and destroy Itsu with the quadra kill as they will move up and win this game. Well, quadra kill just went over to Atrox, so I, I know what that means that was. What does it mean? It means our combo is going to be invalidated. What do you mean? You're really Oh, yeah. I can't believe you. <laughs> uh, no, I think I... Oh, I don't even know. 